Yo, what's up guys? It's Brent. Uh, this is tutorial 5, and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about Mongoose. Now, Mongoose is a way for us uh, using Node.js to connect with our Mongo database. And if, Mo if you've never heard of Mongo uh, database before, it's a non-SQL database. Um, basically, we're going to be storing modeled objects in that database. And our object that we're going to do in this tutorial is basically a simple username and password. It's not going to be encrypted or anything like that. Uh, it's just going to save plain text in our database. So with that in mind, uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up and uh, set, uh, save something to the database. So uh, the first thing you're going to notice from our last tutorial is I've added a few folders here. I've added an app folder, and inside that I've added a routes and a models uh, file here. We're going to get back to that shortly. I've added a config file and a folder, and inside that we're going to config our database. Um, and then one more, I've added views. We're not going to do anything uh, with this folder in this tutorial, but in future tutorials. Videos is just for the tutorials. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit our uh, package.json file, and we're going to add Mongo. Uh, Mongoose, sorry. And we'll just say latest again. Save that. Let's go ahead and update our stuff. npm install. That'll bring in all the stuff from uh, that we're needing for Mongoose. Takes a little bit, actually. This one's a rather large module, I guess. So after that's done, let's go ahead and start uh, coding our in our server.js. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add mongoose, bring it in. Our mongoose is require mongoose. Then we're going to bring in our config .db, or, or database config file. So var config database equals require. And then we're going to give it the path to our config file. Uh, so config, actually, it actually starts with like this syntax. Slash config database.js. Wow, cannot spell. Sorry. OK. Now what we're going to say is we've got those modules in. We're going to um, tell Mongoose to basically connect to the server. So it's pretty simple, mongoose.connect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a uh, config db.url. And we're going to set that up right now. So we'll save that. We'll go to our database.js file. Okay, so in this folder, uh, what we're going to have is we're going to say module.exports, and we're going to export an object. And that object has one parameter. It's called URL. And then the value of that is uh, insert uh, link to your database here. So what you're going to do is basically, if you've never used uh, Mongo before, you're going to need to go check out a tutorial on that. But... Uh, if you're hosting your database online, they'll have a link to you. It's typically in the uh, format of something like this. It's like uh, mongod, uh, and then and then like a username, password at you know blah blah dot com. So that's what the link will look like. So you might want to check that out. Uh, afterwards, I'm going to just insert my own database in here, so I'll save this for for later. So we'll save that. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to basically set up our routes. So instead of using this like we have been using, we're going to go ahead and comment that out, and we're going to say tell the uh, server that we're going to list our routes in a separate file. So we're going to say require uh, dot app slash routes.js. And so as it's going through, it's going to load up this file. And we're going to do a couple things uh, with this file. 
So we're going to say module.exports function, and it's going to take in our app. And in fact, let's go back to our server.js and give it the app. Of course, we, the app is our express app. So um, the first thing we're going to do is say app die to get and we'll basically use the one that we were using earlier um, which is just our default route and then give it our function request and response and then uh, when they go to that uh, route we'll just say response and hello world so that's what we already had Now let's set up one more app. This is the one we're going to use for this tutorial. App dot get, um, and we're going to say we're going to set up some params. So at, anytime they type in any slash, we're going to say the first thing they're going to type in is slash username, and then after that it'll be their password. Uh, this is just temporary. This is not what we're going to use in the final, but I just want to show you all mod use MongoDB. So then function request response okay so these are called params and params are basically when you're typing in the URL uh, if nothing fits previously and this everything works anything that's typed like uh, uh, brentarelli.com slash brent slash password the brent would be the username and the password would be the pass or password would be password okay so in order to get the values of whatever they're typing in there we're gonna say uh, uh, request dot params dot username and request dot params dot password okay now what are we gonna do with the username and password we need to actually save it in our uh, database so one thing we're gonna another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go set up, set up our um, let's see so we're gonna set up our user.js it's called a schema and a schema is how your data database looks in the database like the object model uh, so we're gonna go to user.js and we're gonna say var mongoose equals require and then we're going to say var user schema. This is we're going to set up a schema, and that equals mongoose dot schema. And inside that, we're going to tell uh, mongoose what our database uh, for a user is going to look like. So the first thing we're just going to have a local login first, okay? And that local login is going to be an object, and it has a, a username that is a string, and it also has a password, which is a string. Okay, so basically, when it saves it to our database, it's going to have a local uh, parameter, and it's going to have two a username and a password inside object. So we'll module.exports. This allows us to access it from outside our file uh, when we require the file. Um, and it's going to be mongoose.model. And it'll be, uh, we're going to call this model our user model. And then we're going to give it our user schema. OK. So let's save that and go back to our routes. Now we're going to bring in our uh, user schema. So uh, var user equals require, and we'll give us we're going to require user.js. So it's already in the same folder. Um, so models slash user. So that'll bring in. Now we have access to a user when and the user is the model. Okay, so now what are we going to do, how are we going to save uh, basically our username and password? So we're going to set up a new variable uh, called user, and, or new user, let's say new user, equals new user, and new user dot username, let's go back, 
username equals uh, our request.params. And then new user dot password equals request the password. Okay. And then why don't we just console dot log uh, user um, new user dot username and dot password okay now all we have to do in order to save it to our database is we're going to say new user dot save okay and it's going to have a function that can throw an error if for some reason you're not connected or something like that something happens with the connection and all we'll say is if error throw error okay so that's all we have to do to uh, save the user to the database. So let's see, what else do we need to do here? I think that is pretty much it. I'm going to pause my video here and put in my URL, and then we'll connect. So we actually have to make a couple changes because I made an error. Um, instead of it being new user dot username, it's going to be new user dot local dot username. And same uh, with our logout because in our uh, uh, user dot js file, we declared the schema is has a local object uh, that then uh, has a username and password. So let's save all that. And we'll go ahead and run our command window, uh, node server.js, and take a look at this, local host, man, okay, and then let's do brent, and then test my password, so Bang. Also, uh, I did edit, uh, add a little bit to the end to respond with the success message. So that's another thing I added. So now uh, let's look at our console really quick. And it says uh, it, it logged it out successfully, Brent, and test my password. And I use a program called uh, RoboMongo. Uh, it basically looks at um, uh, our Mongo database in, for, in a GUI way. And so we can take a look at it. So. In my collections, there's a, a section called users, and let's take a look. At, let's refresh it, actually. Um, I'll refresh our database here and go to uh, collections, users, and it will refresh here. And we should see at the bottom here, we have a local folder uh, with a password and username and Brent and test my password. So there you go. It saved uh, Mongoose has saved our username and password into Mongo database and it's going to be persistent. So um, with that tutorial down, um, next we'll go over logging in probably with passport. Don't I'm not going to promise it just yet, but I think that'll be the next tutorial. Let's look uh, really quick at the Mongoose documentation. Uh, it's going to be mongoose.js, actually. So here it is. You can read the docs. We've pretty much showed you how to do this. Require mongoose, uh, setting up your connection to your database, how to save a, uh, a document, um, schemas, stuff like that. So if you're interested, uh, check out this site. Uh, this will give you some more information on how to... Uh, uh, set up Mongoose and how to basically really query that database uh, to get back what you want and to put in what you want. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, concerns, or you don't just think I'm not doing it right, uh, hit me up in the uh, comments. Thanks so much. Bye.